Today is Wednesday, May 12th, 2010, and this week the markets are performing a lot better than they did last week. Last Thursday, as a lot of us know, we saw a thousand point swing in the Dow Jones Industrial Average, and it, the Dow recouped a lot of the losses during that trading day, but we are still down about 350 points. Um, for that particular day, for the whole week, last week we were down a little over 600, so this week we're still down, but we've been able to recoup a lot of uh, the losses that we've seen in our portfolio and also in the market. Um, overall, during the year, I'm still up about three or four percent. Um, last week, for a lot of us, um, did lose a lot. Um, prior to that, I sold my energy pipeline companies, and I got into Goldman Sachs. I said that. You know, Goldman Sachs would be a good buy between 50 and 55. Um, but I got in after selling my energy pipeline companies at 56 on a Thursday. And then the next day on Friday, the Justice Department comes out with a fraud case against Goldman Sachs. And the stock price loses an additional $10 billion on their market cap. And... It brought the stock price right around $42, $43 for that particular trading day. Now, since then, we've seen uh, Goldman go below $140, and today, I believe it closed around $144, $147. And it's still a good buy. I think that it's still really undervalued because prior to... The Justice Department um, coming out with their fraud, a fraud case. Um, the stock of Goldman Sachs was already down 20% from its high. And then they came out with the fraud case. It lost an additional 10% on top of the 20. So we're, we're talking about you know, $32, $33 billion in market cap. And then last week, it lost you know an additional 5 to 7 billion dollars in market cap, further depressing the stock price. And so compared to its peers and compared to the other stocks in the marketplace, it's really undervalued. Um, now there's a huge case going on in the Gulf region with BP in Transocean with the Gulf spill. And I think that the depressed stock price is justified because it is bringing about a lot of bad publicity towards these companies and BP is going to have to pay possibly retroactive um, I guess funds towards paying the tourist industry paying um, different industries that conduct a business down there such as the fishery and also um, the uh, tourism down there but um, rig is at fault just as much as uh, British Petroleum as well as Halliburton they're all kind of intertwined with one another so if one of them gets hit with the baseball bat the other two will also get hit with the baseball bat but right now you know the market is very volatile and if you can't stomach the fluctuations in the stock price of five to seven percent in any given day, or if your portfolio can't stand five or six percent swing, if you're on margin potentially, then you should probably be on the sideline and just collecting as much cash and just you know hoarding the cash, so that when opportunities present themselves, like last Thursday or all of last week, you can put that money to work instead of having to worry about losing you know, 10% of your portfolio, your hard-earned money in one week. But, you know, if you feel that, you know, when you put money in your portfolio that it's, it's money that I can lose, it's money that um, I can, I'm just kind of playing around with, then you're probably safe, but if this is money that you need to 
actually live off of and pay bills with or possibly fund a college education with, then you probably shouldn't even be in the market to begin with. This is money that you sh that should have no strings attached and that you should be able to make a objective investing decision with. Otherwise, your mind is going to be skewed on top of all the other investing um, concerns that go around making an investment to begin with. But um, I'm, I'm still in Jinko. Jinko came out with their quarterly earnings. Um, they didn't blow away expectations, but in line with what I was um, expecting, about a buck oh six diluted, buck oh seven basic. And you know, I'm happy with that. They're generating cash. They're doing what they're supposed to be doing. And you know, as long as the fundamentals don't change, and as long as you know the uh, financing towards new shipbuilding is difficult to get, I believe that Jinko is in a position and at a competitive advantage compared to its peers to take advantage of the market and produce more revenue with their expenses staying the same, which will increase the bottom line and increase the EPS for next quarter. Um, keep an eye on the voltage dry index. Um, it has been going up. The cape size rates have reached 144 the past week, week and a half, and I don't see that changing anytime soon. And also, they are continuing to get chartered um, for their ships, and the Baltic Trading Limited company that they're the parent of, um, they have taken delivery of about three or four ships, and they're currently on the spot market, and we should see um, that revenue being contributed to the bottom line of Jinko as well in future um, periods. So, um, just uh, keep an objective mind and just stay focused on the end goal, and that is to make as much money as you possibly can, as much money as I could possibly can. But, um, you know, look at opportunities like last week and also opportunities in companies that are depressed, such as Goldman Sachs, um, you know, in the back of your head so that you can just pounce on them if you have cash on the side. But, you know, if you don't have cash on the side, but you have access to margin and you haven't really used that margin, it's a good way to unleash um, value in your brokerage account if you truly feel there is an opportunity to make money for a short-term trade or potentially long-term trade if you have a job or if you have stocks that pay dividends that can you know, fill that void that the margin account you know, um, makes with borrowing the equity from your other common stock. But um, hopefully that makes sense. If it doesn't, um, I, I want to talk a little bit more about how I view my portfolio, kind of like a business, in a couple of uh, videos. But, um, you know, just uh, stay strong in these markets. Take care.